So uh, it was a good thing. Okay, moving on on this Ian Gillen special on Rock Radio to, um, well, I was with Black Sabbath for a year. It was the longest party I've ever been to. Um, I got an invitation to go for a drink with uh, Tony Iommi and Geezer Butler. We met at a pub in Oxford, which was halfway between here and there. And uh, we met at lunchtime, about one o'clock. We started drinking, and um, that's the last I remember, until I got a phone call from my office the next day from my manager, who said, Ian, I think if you're going to make uh, career decisions, you should really call the office first and we should talk it through. And I said, well, I'm not sure what you mean, Phil. Um, he said, well, apparently yesterday, under a table somewhere in Oxford, you agreed to join Black Sabbath. And I said, well, there you go. And... Uh, so I did, and um, I was doing nothing else at the time, and uh, it ended up being the longest party I've ever been to. It was uh, one year of uh, amazing fun. And at the beginning, of course, we made this record called Born Again. Uh, many, many stories during this time. I was camping out in the field, actually, because um, it was too dangerous in the house. And uh, coming back from the pub one night, um, decided to do some time trials. On the, We bought a fleet of cars, Ford Granadas, I think they were, and Richard Branson had a, a go-kart track, which wasn't really big enough for racing cars, but it was big enough to do a single car and uh, time trials. And So I um, did a few laps of this and then hit a, a pile of tires and flipped the car a few times. And uh, it was a near-death experience. And uh, fortunately, uh, we got out of it and the car was no fit state for driving anymore. But um, it was good material for the lyrics for a song the following day and uh, I'd like to play that for you now it's from the Born Again album Black Sabbath and the song's called Trashed This is rockradio.co.uk Anyway Roger Glover got me out of a big hole one day I decided I was going to leave Deep Purple in 1973 for what seemed like all the right reasons and um, I went off and dabbled with motorbikes and hotels and I still had my recording studio and one day got a call from Rog saying uh, could you help? I've got this big show in a couple of days' time at the Royal Albert Hall. It's called the Butterfly Ball. And Ronnie Dio um, can't make it. I found out later that Ronnie had been told by Richie that if he did turn up, um, he'd be fired from Rainbow. But that's another story. And f for which I'm very grateful to Richie. So I said, Rog, yeah, of course I'll help you out, mate. And um, so I rehearsed the song, turned up. I wasn't in the program and um but got an exceedingly warm reaction from the audience and um made me realize what an idiot i was and how music was really a very important part of my life and the next day i picked up my guitar wrote a few songs made some phone calls and got back into the business but that's just a side story really because because of that i listened very carefully to this record and um when i heard the story from ronnie i went back and heard it again and Listen to what a great musical performance. This is a big hit for Roger and uh, and Ronnie, and uh, I'd like to play it for you. Just listen to the vocals on this. And what a song of joy from an age of optimism. Um, we don't hear songs like this very often now, but uh, here it is from the Butterfly Ball album. It's called Love Is All. <laughs> 